Hey everyone, Brad here with Brick Lover 18. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Bricklink vlog. So I actually just got back from spring break. I've been gone for just under a week now. And if I say spring break, I didn't go travel anywhere or anything like that. I just went back home to see my family. But while I was gone, I did get a pretty decent amount of Bricklink orders. So I'm really excited about that. My Bricklink store has been really picking up lately, especially with all the new sets that I added recently. I've sold quite a few of those in the last week. All right, let's go. So as you can see, most of the orders are actually paid here and ready to be shipped. There are a few ones that are just marked as pending and that's because they have either yet to pay or I have yet to invoice them. A couple of them specifically, I haven't sent the invoices yet because I needed to come back to the studio and check it out because some of them didn't have the size listed on Bricklink for some of the items. And because we're in Canada, I just want to make sure they can fit through the two centimeter slot before I just send them out and or charge them way too much for postage. So a few of them, as I said, do need to be invoiced like this one right here, but I contacted the buyers to let them know so this one specifically i just want to make sure that these collectible minifigures will actually fit through the two centimeter slot before i send them out because if they don't fit through the two centimeter slot that changes the shipping price quite a bit and i didn't want to have to cause the buyer any confusion so i'm going to find these minifigures now in this envelope and then i'm going to send that buyer the invoice all right, so I just double checked on the first order there and I did confirm that we'll go through the two centimeter slot for the postage, so that's great. I will update that one. I'm gonna check on this order now. Oh, this one is actually, I have to cancel that order because it did, I definitely know it doesn't fit through the two centimeter and that the price of the order was only a dollar. 87 and the shipping was going to be like 16 dollars. ridiculous right so i just contacted the buyer told them what it was going to be and they were like please cancel the shipping for us so i did that and now i'm going to check this one here uh large 111 so it's going to be actually right over here so it's just going to be one of these so i basically just need to know if it's going to fit through the two centimeters of the slot uh might be very close they only ordered one so just to be safe, I'm gonna open it up completely. Put it in the bag here. So as you can see, if I actually, you know, when they invoice it, I'll put it in plastic, but yep, that'll fit through the two centimeter slot. The post office will be happy. So I can actually go ahead and invoice this one as well. So that's actually, this is part of the reason why it's kind of annoying to run a Bricklink store here in Canada because you just never know what the price is going to be. So as you can see, $2.90 for shipping, a dollar surcharge because it's under $5. So look at that. These orders are actually perfect to go. So I'm going to go ahead and now that I was able to track those down, I'm going to send the invoices and I'm going to start packing the other orders that have been paid for because some are a little just because like I said, some are easier to invoice without actually trying out some of the parts, but some of them I do have to come in and test it out. All right, so invoices sent and let's get packing the orders. Before I do too much packing, I'll also have to go and reprint some address labels. As you can see, I have just one pre-printed address label here and I use these ones just because they look so much nicer than just writing on the package. So I'll have to go run home and print some more of those so I can continue packing. All right, so I went home, printed a bunch more new labels. As you can see, they're all right here, ready to go. And actually in the meantime, as you can see, I got several more orders. So it is time to start packing these. I'm gonna start with order number one down there and let's get into it. All right, the first order is packed and ready to go. I've just got to do the label now and get it sent off. All right, first order is ready. On to the next one. The next order here is gonna be quite a bit easier to pack, it takes no time at all. It's this Ninjago minifigure box. And so now I've just gotta get some bubble wrap for it and get it into a box. All right, so order number two is ready. This one I had to fill out a customs form, but I also realized it would fit in a bubble mailer and not a box. So that is perfect. We'll set that down there and get on to order three. And of course, got the business card because I don't want to give away any addresses. This third order is also going to be an easy one. This one's the year of the rat. I'm going to get some bubble mailer on it and I will have to see if this one would be better in a box or a bubble mailer just because the packaging on this one's not a stick. So a bubble mailer might not be sufficient. I keep every all the bubble wrap in this big like spool of it. And then what I'll just do is cut it to size and then get ready. I'm going to use this box and I'll just make a custom box for it. And then it goes back under there. All right, so the set's all packed up here. It's nice and secure. This is going to transport much easier it looks pretty jank so that's why i'm gonna actually use some paper here that i have and i'm gonna wrap it up to make it look like a nice package and it's gonna be more professional all right so order number three 
packed and ready to go. So this next order here is actually two of the buildable bricks, the two by four ones, uh, the red one and the teal one. And both of these are going to the same buyer in Norway. So I'm gonna package these up and get them ready to ship. It's funny because these two sets actually fit quite perfectly in this Unikitty box. So I'm gonna seal that up now and use the same paper to ship it so it doesn't look so sketchy. Time to fill out yet another international package form as well as another shipping label. All right, order number four, packed and ready to go. The shipping thing is getting, it's getting quite a bit more full now. The fifth order is so tiny, as you saw, it's just this one piece. You saw at the start of the video where I figured out the shipping cost and invoiced it to the buyer. The fifth order here was packed in no time flat. I think that was under a minute, which is good stuff. And now I can move on to the sixth order. This sixth order is gonna be a doozy, as you can see, 46 different lots and 136 Lego pieces. So that one's not gonna be fun. All right, let's get to work packing this ginormous order. All right, so now I have finished packing the big order here. As you can see, it's just one of those orders that's a high lot count, but not a high piece count, which obviously is totally fine. I appreciate all orders, but as you can see, all the pieces are here. So now what I'm going to do is just go through and group leg pieces together and get them all in bags. All right, so I got all the parts condensed into these bags. All right, so the order is packed and ready to go, and I am surprised that it fit in such a small bubble mailer but it'll also now go in the boxes, which is getting pretty full. I'll have to empty it soon. All right, now that those two big orders out of the way, I've got a much smaller one of just minifigure accessories to go. Nice cute little pack of minifigure accessories here. We're almost at the finish line. This next order here is also a pretty big one. Uh, as you can see, it is 253 items, but only 13 lots, which is very appreciated. It's also got some minifigures, and this one's definitely going to be a bulkier order for sure. So I'm going to get the minifigures first. I store them here in the collectible minifigure bin. All right, they actually ordered 150 of this one part. That's what a majority of the order is. So I divided them into groups of 10 here so I could easily count them. And for this order, I've just been going through and bagging them up as they go, because it's going to make it easier. All right, so the second large order is ready to go. As you can see, everything's bagged up, and I thought this one would be easier just to use a pre-made box than try and make one uh, from the other Lego boxes I have. So I'm gonna fold this one up and get all the parts inside. So actually, this box was way too big when it had everything in. It was just gonna drive up the shipping cost. So I'm gonna go with this one instead and just wrap it up. Another package packed and wrapped and ready to go. This thing got way too heavy. It, this thing got way too heavy. It couldn't stay full. This one's so big, I needed to wrap it with two different pieces of uh, this, the, you know. This one's so big, I needed to wrap it with two different pieces of the plastic wrap. And I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to have to make a whole makeshift box from the ones I have done. All right, the big set's all sealed up and ready to go. I'll fix the address there so you can't see it. But it is ready. Plus, all of these packages are ready as well. As you can see here, I packed nine different orders tonight four of them in boxes and five of them in just regular poly mailers. So very excited to get them out. I'm going to take them to the post office first thing in the morning because it's currently 9 p.m. There's no post office open, but I'm going to get them out and get them shipped to my buyers. So thank you everybody so much for watching my Bricklink store vlog. I really hope you enjoyed, you know, just kind of going through the order process with me. And it was a lot of fun to film this tonight because I don't normally have nine orders that I have to pack in one evening because my store is very small. But because they built up over a little the last few days because I was away on spring break, uh, it was just a full, full night ahead. So thanks again so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos, and I definitely will play to do more vlogs like this if this is something that you enjoyed so thanks again so much for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video